So, hey guys, Chelsea here. So I want to discuss something that has troubled me and that I'm not really happy about. Which is weird because I'm actually happy with the way they make this work. But this particular instance I'm not happy with. I think that is how I'd go with it. But yeah, it's about co-op and I've really not made any videos about co-op. Uh, have, uh, good enough, I know that other content creators have made videos, that's good, but yeah, the thing is <sighs> I've been trying to keep up, but like, I'm just afraid of wasting resources that could be useful, so I'm taking a step back uh, for better or for worse, like on the first day of Annie, I will barely play Annie co-op, since I need to take advantage of the 10 times ship so I'm able to just Farm by myself and check the conversation around co-op and learn from others and then next week I'm going to go all in on co-op myself so I'm pretty happy with that so but yeah this video is about co-op and more particularly it's about the co-op boosters because it will have boosters but it's actually implemented in a way I like because the worst thing about boosters to me is that it takes away the team building aspect that's super boring to me but for the co-op, uh, what they're doing, if we go down a bit, uh, isn't it here? Yeah, it is. We have trusted characters, but as it says for co-op quest, trusted character will apply the bonus effect even if they aren't on your crew as long as you own the character. So this means that you don't have to build a team with all of the any units called a day and the content is sold for you, no. You still have to team build, sure owning them probably helps with the content, but it's not going to be sold and you can do other teams for it. And as a team builder, that's great. We can actually build our own teams, super happy with that. And if you want to compete, pulling us helps compete. So yeah, so we have a few units. It's basically all of the new units. The only free to play is the PKA Blackbeard. So. And yeah, you'd think like, so basically we have four legends debuting, like the three super sugos gives two each, Roddy gives one, we can get, get an extra from the straw hats. But there's actually two more here that I want to talk about. And I want to talk about the shanks with alternative art. And then I want to talk about the 6 plus Luffy and indirectly also talk about the Robin and Jim Bay rare recruits. But yeah, basically if you check the OG Shanks, he's number 4152. The Altar Shanks is 4153. So technically these are different units. It's just that they are exactly the same except for the art. But the way this works is that if you want to optimize your drops in grand part, uh, not grand part, in co-op and in the long run increase your ranking in the grand feast because the more drops you get the higher likelihood of getting a good pull since you can pull more but if you want to optimize your gra grand feast ranking it means you need two shanks copies and not only that you need to spend five alternate ink on it and most people don't even have five of those. So this is going to be a big difference in the ranking. And at the same time, it's not like we get alt art, the alt ink often. So it's not like next time we get an alt art, like who knows? Like if you go by the current trend, it will be the 11th Annie and probably we have enough then. But they might start doing this more regularly. So that means like, do we waste it now or do we save it? And it's not just Shanks, it's also the 6 plus Luffy. I talked about this a bit earlier. I'm not happy with how they're dealing with this. Like in the past when we get these Super Sugar Fest 6 plus, they let us collect them over the month. And what they do is that they've treated the 6 plus and the OG 6 star as like the same unit. So. Just because you haven't pulled for the 6 plus, as long as you have the 6 star, you're still good to go. But as you see, the 6 star Luffy is not here, it's just the 6 plus. And this is pure bait from Bandai to make people try and pull 
on the 6 plus Luffy debut banner like I have 6 plus Luffy or 6 star Luffy at level 150 I don't, know t not, don't need to pull him even if he's a uh, side grade but if I want to optimize my ranking I have to pull on a Sugo Fest for a unit I own for the 6 plus like <sighs> that's Galaxy Brain and obviously we talked about how they'll handle the treasure map like they might try and do something scummy there too we have to wait and see and obviously it's also the only way you can get the Robin and Jim Bay that also are needed if you want to optimize your drops so uh, pretty disappointing not gonna lie like I'm pretty happy not going super hard this first one like it's only for like 10 days and we still have to learn the mode I'm happy sitting back and taking it easy and maybe in the future I'll try and optimize my drops to get a win eventually it will be cool of course I always li li like to win an event once at least but yeah it's just very scummy that they're forcing our hand like this if you really want to compete but yeah but as I said like the 6 plus Luffy Suge is actually surprisingly good uh, I was a bit weird when I talked about this later, this earlier, but yeah, it's supposed to be like 30 legends. They don't display 30, but they say it, so I don't know what that's about. But yeah, basically, all of these should be 0.5% chance with that, since 0.5% times 30 is 15%, uh, so it should work out. So that means you get an insane rate of limited legends on this Sugo. It's like almost 5% Super Sugos and not all of those are super desirable. But like for me personal, I don't need Odin, I don't need Roger, I don't need Law, I don't need a Luffy. I could take Yamata Dupe, but I don't need it. Same with Uta, like, okay. But also with Treasure Map, we're talking like that's 7%, so 5% Super Sugo, 7% Treasure Map, like that's a lot of units to get in the rate. So, yeah, they made it good, but still it's coming that you have to pull this because we're literally getting 6 Super Sugo Fests, uh, uh, Super Sugos, 5 with the new ones and then 1 with the old one. And it feels like they're trying to push this old one the most. And yeah, that doesn't vibe with me personally. So for me personally, like I said before, it, it will depend on luck. I'll start with part one. If I somehow get everything there, then sure, I'll go on this one. Pull a bit there as well. But yeah, this also feel really celebratory to me personally. Not the way I wanted them to start with the co-op. But yeah. I'll just try and learn the mode and not focus too much on the ultimate ranking in the end. But yeah, let me know what you think. Do you think you should get an advantage by pulling for a 6 plus or spending or pulling for a dupe to use alt art on them? Let me know down in the comments. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.